My name is Jerry DeModner, and this morning I'd like to talk with you a little bit about a condition that affects the movement of trains here in New England. This condition is called slippery rail. It's a condition that affects the railroad. It is caused by moist fallen leaves that cling to the top surface of the rails, creating what we call a black rail, a slippery Teflon-like residue that is caused when these leaves are crushed by passing trains. The condition results in significant loss of adhesion between train wheels and the rails. In order to combat this issue, MBCR has acquired several high-pressure rail washers that can be coupled to the existing rolling fleet. The high-pressure rail washer's primary function is to clean the black residue off the rails. Black rail causes a considerable loss of traction and wheel slippage, increasing the number of delays. When planning to overcome the problem, MBCR discussed cost-effective methods of cleaning the tracks. The rail washer accomplished this objective without risk to the rail. The rail washer has greatly improved MBCR's fall on-time performance in the few years that it has been running. John Desert from Mass Bay Community Railroad Work Equipment Department. The rail washer works the same way as your home pressure washer, but on a much higher power. A diesel locomotive moves the rail washer along the rails, which has four nozzles on each rail, spraying high pressure water to keep the track clean. The pressure of the water is about 15,000 pounds per square inch. This high pressure means it uses about 50 gallons of water per minute. Depending on the rail condition, it works about 8 to 10 hours a day before the tank needs to be refilled. Slippery rail becomes an issue during the fall when the majority of the leaves fall, so high pressure rail washing usually operates in late October, November, and December. A large amount of the work is done in the daytime due to the safety issues of operating heavy machinery. Usually pressure washing on the old colony lines is done during the weekend to avoid service disruptions. Well, the original design of the machine came from looking at a similar unit on the New Jersey Transit System. It was then modified for MBCR requirements and constructed by the Work Equipment Department within the Engineering Department. Firstly, the water is pumped from a 20,500 gallon tank into the machine's filtering system to remove any particles in the water, as it must be filtered twice before entering the main pump. Then the filter water enters the main pump and is highly pressurized using the energy produced by a diesel engine. It is then forced through four nozzles on the vehicle where it is sprayed onto the tracks at 15,000 pounds per square inch of pressure. Well, the crew consists of an operator, a mechanic that maintains and repairs the machinery, a foreman and a regular train crew, this train crew usually operates the rail washer for eight to 10 hours along a single line at speeds of about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Because if it goes any faster, it becomes inefficient in removing the leave residue. In poor weather conditions or areas very thickly covered with leave residue, it is driven at speeds closer to 10 miles per hour and with great care in case of slippery conditions. The rail washing equipment is worked on regularly during the year, preparing for the use in October. Typically, maintenance that we do includes servicing the engine, changing the oil, and maintaining the high pressure hoses. 